Hey guys, I'm Tracy Edmonds and you're tuning in to All Right TV and I'm chilling in the backyard with a good friend of mine, Mr. Cornell Thomas. Hello, Tracy. Hello. And we're just talking about all kinds of stuff yeah. today. Let's talk about parenting though. Love it. Yeah, because I'm a single parent mom and I'm hustling mm -hmm. and working every day and trying to find balance, mm -hmm. raising two boys. And you are a hands-on African-American father. Amen. And I love that. Amen. Yeah. I was raised by a single mother so another like when we met I just I just connect with you because I know the plight I know what that is like being raised by a single mom my mom raised five of us on her own with really no money at all yeah. so ever since I was little I've always dreamed about being a father always and I'll never forget when my son was first born I changed his first like 10 diapers I love you yeah that's awesome yeah, and, one of my, and one of my buddies was like you change diapers? I'm like, yeah, because I don't want to sleep with one eye open. Of course I change diapers, I do everything. So I look at it, it's, it's the process, right? It's the process of these kids growing into young adults. Yeah. So I want to be there for every part of it. Like I'll go to England and speak for like two days and take the red eye back just so I can be present. And I, I want my son to realize that when he has a family, I want him to be present as well because it's, it's really generational. It's right. what you pass down. Right. So you can stop the cycle by just doing something different. Yeah. Right. I didn't grow up without a father. My son and my daughter have a father. And now we're going to keep passing that down. And, and you know what? And that's so important, like you said, to stop the cycle. Mm -hmm. And so just because you did not have that, you know, as a, as a model to mm -hmm. look at, you know better. Yeah. You know how important it is to be there and to be present for your children and to be there for those games yeah. and taking them to school yeah. and cooking breakfast. Because I've seen the videos. Yeah. You, <laughs> you actually make breakfast sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you? Sometimes, yeah. but it's it's just breakfast because okay. <laughs> once it gets past twelve, I can no longer cook. Like I can make the pancakes and the eggs as soon as twelve hits and it's lunchtime. I'm like, who wants some grilled cheese? Right. <laughs> but you know, grilled cheese is great. Yeah. yeah. Soup. Yeah. Soup is easy. Well, I had my daughter for six days. Days. My wife and my son went to visit her mom in Seattle, yeah. and it was me and Naya for six days. Wow! So I was just thinking in my head, what can I make today? Yeah. Right? Like that's <laughs> the only thing I was thinking. Like, what can I make today? But it's just such a blessing to have kids. Yeah. And we were told that we w might not be able to have kids. Oh wow! So when we had two of them. I'm like, man, I did, every day I can't wait to be with my kids. That is so awesome. Okay, so you said that you've taken care of Naya on yeah, your own yeah. when you, when mom is gone. Yeah. Do you do hair? So I do, I can put it up in a bun. Okay. <laughs> and that took me five months to be able to actually figure out how to be, get on my fingers and like put it in a bun. Right. But I love when her hair is wild and natural. Yeah. So like That's some, easy. So right? you see the 60 seconds of sanity I do every day with my kids yeah. and Naya's hair is just like poof. And I'm always like, who's my little lioness? And she's like, wow. I'm like, yeah. And my wife was like, do her hair, please. She's like, please do her hair. I'm like, all right, all right. No, you're like, that's the style. Yeah, though. she's I wild. did do her hair. Yeah. It's supposed to be wild. She's okay. <laughs> she's okay. But it's cool because when we bring her to school, like, the teachers love her. Yeah. So they do her hair. My mom comes home. My mom puts her hair in, you know, in the braid. Like, she, she gets it in. Yeah. So, like, I, I watch my mom, and I'm like, man, one day I'll learn it. That is awesome. Okay, well, there you go, guys. You have a hands-on father here that cooks breakfast, that does hair. Diapers. Diapers, takes yeah. his kids to school. Yep. Amazing. Okay, now, have you thought of, like, wisdom that you're going to drop on your kids as yeah. they get older? Yeah, every day. So, I think for, especially my son being African-American, yeah. right, one of the first things that I'm going to tell him is treat women like you treat your mommy. Oh, I love that. Right? Yeah. Super important. Yeah. Right? I don't care what they're saying in rap videos. I don't care what they're saying in different, whatever. You treat women like you treat your mommy. There and you that's go. so crucial. Yeah. And for my daughter, it's never let anybody uh, make you feel lesser, right? Yes. Never think that you have to stand behind a man to be important. Right. You know, you were meant to stick out. Right. So never take the backseat to anybody. So it. those are the two things for my son and my daughter, because the life lessons, you know, there's not negotiables in the house, but they're a little bit different because one's a boy, one's a girl. Right. So I want them to understand. That's why I have to call my daughter my lioness. I'm like you're a lion. I was like, you're intelligent. You're beautiful. Like you're a lioness. Never forget that. I love that because a lioness represents strength. Too. Yes. And so I think it's like so important for women to be strong. Sure. And like you said, carve your own, create your own yeah. path. Yes. And be independent. Yes. So I love Please. that. Great Please. advice. Be bigger than your label. There you go.